Japan for the World Scout Jamboree, I was impacted by the Japanese people, their culture, the history, the organization, their business technology, and the cities, the caves, the nature areas, everything was great. And we spent weeks there with more than 34,000 scouts from many countries of the world. We went to Hiroshima Memorial Peace Park, and I was impacted by the museum, the park, and the idea of the Hiroshima Peace Program. No more Hiroshimas. When I came back, I started to see that we have all these combinations of courses, technologies, TEDx, scouts, and a global learning adventures that we were collecting for many years of traveling to more than 50 countries. And we decided to do TEDx lessons related to the countries, the new technologies, and later the Sustainable Development Goals. That year, the United Nations came with these goals and started to share in how we can help to improve the world. So I used the TEDx technologies to provide TEDx lessons and create TEDx workshops to share what I call tech knowledge, how to use technology to improve our courses, our learning, our communities using tech talks and using the TEDx lesson platform. Later, we came with the idea of sharing these lessons in the classes. And we came with something that we call the TEDx FCCJ Learning Adventures that we have been doing for several semesters. When we combine the videos, we combine the lessons, we combine the report or the student have to do with the sustainable development goals to produce an event with our students in our classroom where we can have a round table and discuss the topics, what sustainable development goal is related to the topics and the content of our information system classes, our management management class, business management classes, and our international business classes. So we have been doing this for several semesters, and now we're gonna have a, a new one uh, at the end of this semester that we have done in the past. Later we say, well, how we can expand this knowledge using a model where we can use not only the TED knowledge, the tech knowledge, the TEDx videos, and the sustainable goals away from the um, environment, the, our class environment, following what we call also uh, being outside of the classroom, being outside of the box, learning outdoors, learning outside and finding real cases, real experiences that we can share with our students. And we came out with the idea of creating a model that we call GLOBE. GLOBE is, yes, global learning opportunities, building engagement. And later we added global learning outdoors, business environment. So because we teach business and courses that are related to outdoors professions and outdoors learning. And we decided to combine the blogs, our social media, our scouting adventures, our TED Talks in something that we can elaborate, bring to conferences, bring to the classes, and expand our learning to teach the digital leaders of the future. We are now in a multi-generational environment when we are learning in classrooms, in places, and we are teaching to global seniors, to baby boomers, that I call digital baby boomers, all the way to the newest generation that I call the instant knowledge generation. They Google everything. So we decided to support this and bring it to some conferences to share this idea 
with our uh, students and with the audience that we normally cover. But then we realize, okay, how we can continue with this, how we can make the sustainable development goals mine. So I decided very easy with my students. Let's pick two. And I pick affordable clean energy and industry innovation and infrastructure. And I started adding discussions, assignments, and projects to all the goals, but with focus on the information systems so we can talk about infrastructure or innovation and to the international business management where we can talk about energy and environment. But we find out that the students discover doing their research that they were more connected to other developing goals. So we say, well, why you don't make a selection based on your values, your priorities and your belief to start working in two or three or maybe four. So we came here with the idea of using our personal leadership system to find your priorities, values and belief and do your personal SWOT analysis. What are your strengths? What happened in your workplace? What happened in your community? What are your volunteer activities? What are the values that you have at home? And then we came with the idea, well, if we can encapsulate these goals and pick three or four, how we can do it. Then the scouts, the world scout movement came with the idea of a scout for SDGs and created a website and encourage youth, scouts in particular, to select the goals and make their own list of goals. 